Hi, my name is Julia Ariola. I am from Tucson and uh, I've been making art for, I guess my whole life. I was just talking to my mother uh, the other day and she was telling me how she remembered how I used to draw pictures when I was really, really small. And she said, and you really like doing that. And I said, well, I still do. <clears throat> I still do like to draw pictures. Um, but I'm also a sculptor. I, uh, I actually trained for that. I have a master's in uh, uh, fine arts sculpture. And um, so I do big work. I, I work with wood. I work with metal. I do big work. I do assemblages. And I also do these uh, drawings on the side when I want to rest from working with all of my big work. My ledger drawing all started out with uh, not only using the ledger paper, but um, I was fascinated with steampunk and that and that whole thing of uh, of 19th century and and today and putting and future and putting all that together. And uh, in fact, I even joined a, a steampunk Tucson steampunk for a while, dressed up the whole bit. And uh, but. Um, so I really enjoy the 19th century as far as, as far as fashion, technology, everything that was going on during that time. But the thing, the, the thing is, is that it was a really bad time to be an A at that time, especially in this country. And uh, so I just, these particular drawings, they all have elements in them, like industrial type elements in them that bring in the, the 19th century. And what I'm trying to say is um, that NAs embraced some of that as well. And, and yet it wasn't a good thing for them. So, so I think what my drawings say is kind of the push and pull of that, of what happened during that time. And so this is a Gone Dancer, uh, which is um, one of the dancers that uh, protects the space uh, for Apaches. And um, so I made the headdress and the headdress is like a gear and everything 19th century. So, and then it, his whole body position is kind of like, you know, there's some angst there as well. Agon is a dancer, a Apache tribe, a Western Apache, as a Mescaleto Apache. And you can usually tell where they come from by uh, the uh, headdress that they use. Not this. This is my steampunk thing. This is my own thing there. So, uh, but anyway, Gons are spirit dancers and they come from the mountains and they usually come down uh, in June. Uh, with the rains, and uh, so they also come down and they uh, they officiate or they bless the space for like puberty ceremonies, uh, different ceremonies they're around, and they dance. And what they do is they protect the space, and that's what God dancers are. I use other tribes as well, other tribe symbolisms as well, because the whole 19th century trampled all tribes. So that's why everyone is included. If you look at uh, photographs of, of N.A. during that time, like the scouts, take for instance, they're wearing their loin cloths, they're wearing, but they're, they're also wearing vests, you know, that, that came across with the Europeans. They might wear a hat, maybe a top hat, or you'll, you'll see that. And that's kind of what I'm trying to uh, portray, that push and pull. They liked it, you know, they liked these things. They liked the, the rifles, you know, everything that came. Um, but yet it was all, um, could be used against them but yet they wanted to embrace it. And that's the push and pull that I'm, that I'm uh, trying to uh, come across with my ledger drawings, as well as using the actual ledger itself. I think that, that when the Europeans came here, everyone was run over and it didn't matter what tribe you were in. It was, you, everyone was run over and yet the Europeans still brought some cool things you know, that, that could be brought into the tribe, that could be useful. And however someone feels about that, 
either positive or negative, that's kind of what I'm doing because maybe that's what I'm feeling. It's that push-pull.